We can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell him we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. Yeah. Doing our best. But you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we used to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you were Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> That strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. <laughs> Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. What's happening? I can't move. I, I can't. No. Just walk right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? Quite a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca, get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... broken. Broken. I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world! You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saves it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. And that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there. Hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? 
You claw your way back into the stored data, you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body... It's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A, a word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels... normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. Speaker. Sean, it's William. Is everything taken care of? Oh, well, hello to you, too. For Christ's sakes, man, have some class. All right, calm down. Oh, that's rich. Yeah, Lucy's dead, and you want me to act like it's Easter Sunday, do you? How's Desmond, anyway? Giving in. That's enough, Sean. What if he's a Templar, Phil? Hey, eh? What if he's been programmed? It's happened before. No, not Desmond. Right. You would say that. Sean. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose, to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle, a sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only, towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it.
Should anything happen to me, Claudia, should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon.
Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months, I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh, do you mean gemstones? There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. Assassin must not get his hands on that book. When we reach Leandros, we will escort him out of the village. You stay behind and make sure we're not followed.
Cobra's cover! None of you leave until the assassin is dead! Do you understand? Ignore me, Kirillo, honey. But he seems to have found us. Honey! Honey!
understand me. Nothing gets through. Leandros! Hey! Well, well. Look what crawled out of its hole to die. He's at death's door. Finish him off. Bring me his head, or throw yourselves into the canyon! What happened here? Come, surely somebody saw something. Why do they cut like that? Isfahan? about that.
Could it be that you are every bit as deadly as the legends say? Or am I in charge of an army of drunks swinging sticks? Right this way, Ezio. Nowhere left to run now! Not for me. And not for you. Kill that dog! Cut him down! Ever stop howling. Well, the old hound still has a bite. The book you carry, where is it? Ah, Nicolo Polo's journal. This will do you no good. Not now. We have found one of the Masyaf keys already, and are closing in on the rest. What is in that library is not for you, not for the Templars. Ah, you can have Altair's books, Ezio. We only want guidance. We only want directions. To the location of the Grand Temple. 
Grand Temple. Tell me more, now. Requiescat in pace, bastardo. Snooping, wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a... a fail-safe program. Trying to keep your poor head intact, whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. I keep the Animus distracted as best I can. For you, so you can explore. Otherwise it might hunt you down like a little virus and, uh, delete you. Well, my guardian angel. There's no such thing. Yeah, I... Thanks. Sean, it's me. What's happening? Are you at the airport? Yeah, we're chartering a jet. Are you coming? Yes, yeah. I'll be there soon. Good. They... they buried her already. They heard. The little cemetery outside Rome. Nice place. Oh, God. Things got so fucked up so fast. Is Desmond still out? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of brain activity, but with the monitoring system shut down, we can't record anything. Well, keep me posted, okay? I'll see you soon. Dear sister. Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself. But none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Niccolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. Sight. It is a work in progress. 
No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borderers even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it, but your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? See, si. I'm Alto Tempo. I left Rome a 12 months ago, looking for inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantine. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantine is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me or... Uh, travelers such as yourself. I have so much work to return to, but it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were... were mainly... Salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Bay Effendi. I hope you find something to hold your interest here. I have faith I will. Yardim at the Belir Meem, Fendi. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Hosh Galdin Kardashian. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditori, the... La, la, la. Prego. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Kazim da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Ebet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come. Mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. Welcome to Galata district. For centuries, it has been a home to orphans from Europa and Asia alike. You won't find more diversity than anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Guess in Likle. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out to pasture. <laughs> oh. Does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your holy land tussle with the Templar did not go unnoticed. When I first set out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. <laughs> Not realizing it has been sealed for three centuries? <laughs> no, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. But they're growing in number, day by day. And the Sultan bears it on his way out. They may try something dramatic. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? Not just one. Two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with these royals. When the Sultan coughs, <laughs> the princes draw their swords. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. There! 
Another way. No, no. Watch. This Antium is dead. As are you. The whole city wakens to welcome you, Ezio. First the regents, now the rats. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. Touching. It's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence here. It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. We're almost there. This way. Mentor, say hello to your extended family. Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers? Our mentor is not afraid to weep openly in front of pupils. Do not worry. I will not make a habit out of it. Ezio and I were ambushed on the way here. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man! And you, Ezio. Your weapons and armor are in a pitiful state. Maybe find some money and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. One idea. Praise the heavens! We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. Yet the Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? 
I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's you. Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. Think of the hook blade as an extension of yourself, Ezio. I think I cannot make this one. Didn't break a sweat! <laughs> Watch and learn, Nezio. We call this a hook and run. Sprint at your opponent, and just as you reach him, use the hook blade to slip by. Shahane! The standard Ottoman hook blade has two parts, you see. The hook and the blade. So you can use one or the other. An elegant design. How about a bigger challenge? Hmm? Va bene, let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Having fun? That's right. Let the hook blade do the work. Ish the boiler. Throw yourself into it.
Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio. The crossroads of the world. Many generations of men have ruled this city, but they have never subdued her. She always bounces back. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. Brace you to the bottom. I'm impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Just give credit where it is due. Yusuf, Chabuk Buri again! Uh, huh? An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your appetite for swordplay? I do what I must. Good man. <laughs> 